right guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing back and biceps. Uh, I did push day uh, yesterday, so today is back and biceps. Um, I'm going to do a few different exercises, as you can see I'm going to be using this tree and the bands here, which I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be using my dumbbells a bit as well for different things, biceps and some rows. And I've got like um, a uh, bicep iso as well, which I'm going to use, uh, again to help activate the bicep, biceps even more as well. So first thing I'm going to do for my back, is I've got this band around the tree. I've only got one band here. I've actually got two, so I took one of them off. So I've actually got another band here, which I did actually take off just because it's had a little bit too much tension. Or I might swap them over. I don't know, I can't remember which one has more tension. But um, at the moment, I've just got this one band on it anyway. And what we're doing, going to gig uh, basically lap pulls, like pullovers basically. Um, it's like doing the cables, we're holding a rope, but instead with bands. So again, anything with bands, increasing resistance. So what are you going to do? Hold on to it like this. The further you stand back, the harder you make it as well. So you're going to hold up the stand like this. Lean over a bit more like that. So chest up, shoulders back. Kind of pull back towards the hips. You can spread your arms if you want to slightly. And back up. Nice and slow. Squeeze the muscles. This is working the lats as well. And especially the lower portion of the lats. So bring your hands together. And wide as pull back. As you hands together as you bring it up. And back down. Again, squeeze the muscles nice as much as you can. Again, the further you stand back, the harder you make it. Even just doing that, I can feel it's a lot harder. Squeeze the muscle as much as you can. This is, I'm just counting this one as a warm up first of all. Just seeing how it feels first. That's it. I can already feel the lats working. Got me two more. Squeeze in the back. Just like that. So that's actually a good exercise. And even now, just doing one set, I can actually feel a bit of a pump in my lower back as well. So it does actually feel really good. Um, I may stand a bit further back to create more tension or again with this one just like when I did the press ups last time Go nice and slowly. So when I pull nice and slow squeeze the muscle get my muscle connection And I'll probably do about I'm not too sure reps wise again I'm not really counting reps just go as many as you can maybe about 12 to 15 if I can do more maybe get more as well um, as I said This is my first exercise as well and my next one after that which I will show you we're gonna be like a single arm pull down but I'm um, going to do four sets of this first of all as well. Okay, now it's my second set. Oh, my first one was kind of, as I said, a warm-up. So this is maybe like a first set, first proper set. Um, I said I'm going to stand back just to gain more tension on the muscle. So stand back quite far, pull back, just like that. Squeeze the muscle as much as possible. <sighs> Lean into it as much as I can. Chest up, shoulders back. Squeeze in the lats. Nice, good posture. Nice and slow as well. I don't know how many reps for that was, I didn't actually count that at all. But again, I can feel the lats working. I'll do three more sets. I'm not too sure, not too sure I might swap over the bands and use the red one instead. I can't remember, I don't have the leaflet, I think I might have lost it a while ago. But I can't remember which one has the most tension or how much like kilos or pounds of uh, tension is in each one. I probably have to just try them out or maybe just pull them myself and see which one feels like they've got more tension. But uh, I'll keep doing this for the moment anyway, see how it feels. It feels too easy, I might go to yeah, uh, you maybe use both, for example. So that's my last set of the pulls there. Again, 
working on that so I can feel really pumped now. Actually, I was really, was really good. Did four sets. Well, one warm-up set, just stand a bit more forward, get a blood and muscle, and then stand a bit further back in the next four sets. So I've completed that. So next thing I'm going to do now is going to do so I try and do like a pull downs. It's a bit dirty, but I might need on the floor here. And what I'm going to do, so if I can, maybe put this um, uh, this band a bit higher up on the tree, so I can kneel down and do one up at a time, hold on to it, create a lot of tension, pull down, squeeze the back as much as possible. Oh, I'm going to set up this set this up now anyway. Okay, so what I've decided to do now, I'm not actually going to put it on the tree on top, top and pull down. The reason for that is because actually if I, put, I did try it actually just now, put it on the tree, and that part of the tree isn't very strong, and I feel like if I put it down, I can hear it cracking. I think it will just break the tree, to be honest, as well. So it's not very, it's quite an old tree, so I can imagine it would break. So what I'm going to do in the end instead, uh, it's around here, the same sort of place where I did have it, uh, just a little bit lower, and instead I'm going to like basically bend over this, and go like this, and basically pull, like that, as, as, as if I was doing that pull down, that position, just my hip movement, it just I'm just bending over more basically, just like that, so my body's more horizontal, so I'm just gonna pull like that instead, probably do both arms together. So we'll see how this goes. So about that height, when I have it about chest height, it should be okay. Stand back, just like this, lean into it a little bit, then I'm gonna pull, just like that, trying to squeeze that as much as you can. I didn't actually say, but I've actually got both bands on here now. Just to create a bit more tension. Just trying to get an extra squeeze in the lats. And nice and wide as well. Getting a squeeze in the lats. Getting nice and slow. Contract the muscle, feel the muscle burn. too bad actually for the next one what i'm going to do though i may stand a little bit further back just create a bit more tension that was slightly easy but as i said i've got two bands anyway so it will feel harder i stand even just like like even less than a foot further back i'll be able to feel how much different how much harder that is as well so i'm going to do three no i did three or four sets not too sure yet actually but i'm going to do three or four sets there's probably more like four sets of this just to help get the lats engaged and get the width and the lats and everything and after that I'll go on different exercises, but I'll show you again another set doing this exercise first. All right, I've done two sets. I've got two more sets left now, so I'm going to do four together actually. Um, and I put the camera in a different angle, just so you can see from side angle as well. A couple of different angles, um, just so you can see me, the exercise, how I do it, and see if you can try and uh, simulate it yourself and trying to copy it as well. All right, so again, make sure, first we've got to do is make sure these equal as well, one off it slightly, as you pull, you have one would have more tension than the other one and obviously one muscle would get more pumped and in turn would get bigger basically so make sure they are equal which they are now again the same stand far back like this lean back a bit hips back back straight set my arms and set, pull back and squeeze squeeze again as much as you can nice and slow again all about squeezing the muscle Hold it on the way out as well when you straighten your arms. Get a few pulses as well. Just to help activate the lats again. So, again, just see from a different angle there how I do it. It's not really the best exit, it's not too bad, I can still feed it. I don't know if I need to stand back if I even more than that, I'm not too sure. But um, I do prefer to prefer doing the the pulls, the straight arm pulls, pullovers with that instead, to be honest. But um, still not bad exercise. Unfortunately, I don't actually have anywhere I can do pull-ups. How many of you got a tree that can do pull-ups? Because it would probably break. Well, it would definitely break more like. And I don't have like a pull-up bar, pull-up station at all as well. Um, so I'm just trying to do my best what I can do here. Over time, I'm going to get used to things and uh, try out different things as well. So I may one time try something a bit different. I feel that it even more as well, but it just takes time to slowly get used to doing this sort of stuff because I'm not used to 
train like this at all. Obviously, I used to in the gym itself. Even when I started the gym when I was 16, I did uh, do stuff at home, but not really quite like this. Obviously, then I didn't know what I was doing whatsoever. So I was doing like, arm curls, like bad form and stuff like that. Just loads of press ups, sit ups, and things like that as well. But um, that's it. It would just take time to get used to this type of training. It's good for me anyway to do this type of training because. I'm used to doing quite heavy weights or a lot of weights. This kind of forces you to get that mind muscle connection as well, whatever muscle you're working. So it forces you to do that. So, in turn, when you do go back to the gym, you'll have a much better mind muscle connection just when training in general. Even when heavy weight, you have a much more chance of get, contracting that muscle instead of other ones coming to play. So, that's the reason I like that type of training as well. All right, I'm going to do, I think, one more set now. Um, and then I'm going to show you next exercise as well. Okay, so the next exercise I'm going to be doing, I'm on back on my patio now. I'm going to do uh, dumbbell rows, but I have actually got like a little stool here, which I'll show you. So as you can see, I've actually got a little stool, which I'm just going to rest my chest on the um, chest and abs on the stool, and have my feet just on the floor as well. I've got dumbbells there, I'm going to use them, all the weights. That's on the side of them, I got 17 and a half, 18 odd kilos. And it's you're going to just pull gonna pull towards my stomach nice and slow not as if it was just like a seal row sort of thing um like a dumbbell version dumbbell seal row basically so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna how many reps i'm gonna get just see how it feels and again probably do about four sets of that as well all right i'll show you what it looks like okay so i'm just gonna lay on this stool like this grab the dumbbells my feet on the ground get me in place and I just pull up towards the chest or stomach sort of level nice and slow squeezing the muscle I got about 15 reps there. I think it was 15. That's actually surprisingly a good exercise as well, actually. So that's actually a good one. Again, my body can't cheat at all because I'm against this uh, stall. So I think you just my back working nice and slow. Again, squeeze the muscles, pull up, get as much contraction as possible. And again, I can fully extend as well. Good thing about having short arms, I guess. That can fully extend as well. So four sets of that. I got thing at 15 this time. Uh, I'll try and get 15 reps each one if I can as well. That's a good exercise. It's getting a bit warm, so I took off my hoodie. It's a good workout so far. All right. Let's go again. Last set as well. One. Got to squeeze the muscle as much as you can. Hold it soft if you can for like a second. reps again all right so I've done that that's my last set on there so my now next exercise I'm gonna do is single arm dumbbell rows I'm actually gonna be leaning on this my hand or arm, uh, arm on this I'm gonna try and put as much weight as I can 
onto one dumbbell. So I'm nearly all the weights on one dumbbell as much as I can. And I do again single arm dumbbell rows, probably. Again, nice and slow, squeezing the muscle. Because normally I can like row 60 odd kilos, quite comfortably really. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add it on and I'll see how it goes. So for the dumbbell rows, I'm gonna be doing three sets and all of them trying to be uh, 15 reps as well, if I can. Again, nice and slow, squeeze the muscles. Then after that, I might do a bit of um, one more, probably what well, kind of a back exercise, more shrugs with the dumbbells and the bands probably together to make extra weight um, and a bit of biceps after. But uh, yeah, so far it's been a really good back workout. So I've done so far straight arm uh, pulls uh, around the tree using the bands. And after that, I used the, um, again, the bands again around the tree, a little bit lower this time. And um, um, my body a bit more horizontal, pulling as if it was a lap pull down. Uh, and then after that, obviously you just saw not long ago, doing the, um, on the um, bench thing I got, the stool, doing dumbbell rows together. Um, and now single arm dumbbell rows as well. Uh, so, so far it's been a really good workout actually, can't complain. But I'm gonna see what I can do after as well. All right, so now I've actually got all the weights on this dumbbell all on one dumbbell as much as I can get on it I think it's about 26 kilos it's a decent weight not too bad obviously I've got a lot heavier but again I'm just gonna go nice and slow squeeze the muscle um, and see how it goes really to make sure these collars are nice and tight I'm gonna rest my elbow on here and pull up just like that back nice and straight stay in feet and pull up squeeze the back just like that <coughs> That's 15 as well. I'm gonna try and get 15 each side. So in fact, I'll move this over just so you can see from this side as well. Get it further there. Lean onto it again and do exactly the same. Other up. <sighs> Squeeze as much as I can. Fifteen reps each one there, and again that was actually really good. Again, squeezing the muscles. Okay, so the next exercise I'm doing, which is going to be using these dumbbells. I put the, even the weights on the dumbbells now, and I'm going to be using the bands again as well. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is going to be shrugs, standing shrugs. So I'm going to be standing on the bands and holding onto the bands as well as holding onto the dumbbells as well. So create the extra tension, basically the extra weight when you're doing it. So when the upper portion of the shrug, I mean, so I know it's an only small movement. But the upper portion of it obviously will be a little bit harder because obviously the more tension in the band on the upper portion, the higher portion um, of the shrug as well. But um, what I'm doing, so I'm going to stand on the bands. I had to loop it around in the middle between my feet a little bit, otherwise there was not really enough attention. But um, I'm going to give it a try, see how it is. Um, I'm probably going to do four sets. Again, not too sure reps, 12, 15, I don't know, see how hard it feels anyway. All right, let's go now. Go now. So. So stand on the bands here, make sure they don't move at all. And hold on to the uh, bands and the dumbbells. That's it. Great attention. And just normal shrugs. Just like that. No, don't bring your shoulders back and forth. Just up and down motion, that's it. Otherwise, more chance of damaging the rotator cuff. Nice and slow, squeeze the muscles. Squeeze the traps. Ah. 
that was actually quite a good uh, good exercise there. Um, as I said, I need to use the bands and the dumbbells together just because the weight of it itself, just the dumbbells, is not enough, or just the weight of the bands is not enough as well. So double them up together, and then on this one I've got both bands together as well to make it create even more tension. So I'm going to do four sets of that. I've done 100 reps, I wasn't in count. Do four sets of that, and then get going. So the next exercise I'm going to be doing is curls. So I'm going to be actually using dumbbells to curl, but what I'm going to do first, I'm going to warm up with just with the bands. Just warm up the biceps a little bit. Down feet close, so there's not much tension, just a little bit. Just warming up the biceps. They are a little bit warm anyway, from everything I've been doing. But I did cool down a little bit, it's a bit cooler now outside. As you can see, I've got my jumper back on. But I'm just going to do this just to warm up my biceps. And then I'm going to do dumbbell curls, single arm dumbbell curls as well. Just warm up a little bit. I can't go all the way down because it takes tension off too much otherwise. Nah, see, just warming up the biceps a little bit. Then I get onto dumbbell curls. Okay, so I've got the dumbbells here now. I'm going to do a set. The curls, again, I don't have any reps. It's actually, decent weight for me for biceps anyway. Maybe 12 reps each arm, I'll see how it goes. Teddy Sharp, I'm going to get 15 actually. Oh, that's really good. Good weight as well. So I'm actually going to do three sets of that. And of probably all of them 15 reps as well. And then after I do one more bicep ex exercise, then that'll be workout complete as well. All right, now this is set number three of the uh, dumbbell curls. Again, 15 reps. I've just got done two sets of 15. If you last one, then I'm going to go to the next uh, exercise. Uh, I'm going to set this off actually. I'm going to warm again. It's quite an exercise that somehow gets me quite warm. But again, I'll do the same. Squeeze the muscle, even though it's quite a decent weight for me. In general, for biceps. One, two, Twelve, three more. Ha. Ah. 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 Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, such a pump. That's actually a really good exercise. Good, perfect weight for me. Oh, especially when I'm slow and squeezing. I'm not going too fast. Still quite slow. Fifteen reps again. It's Seventeen and a half or eighteen kilos each dumbbell. And that's fine. So three sets of set 15, each arm. Um, that's my last set. And now I'll show you my last exercise of the entire workout. Okay, so the last exercise I'm gonna show you and last exercise of my entire workout is gonna be dumbbell hammer curls. So I'm gonna be picking up dumbbells and do hammer curls. So palms facing each other basically, both arms together, up and down just like that. If you're working more of the forearms and more of the outside portion 
of the biceps as well, getting more thickness in the arms, the forearms and the biceps. Um, and straight after that, I'm gonna go into, I've got the bands here, which I'm gonna hold a stand on, and it's gonna do this year as a drop set straight after, get the bands and just burn it out as much as I can, just like that, just to burn out the muscles as much as I can. I'm gonna do the dumbbell hammer curls, again, not too sure of the weight or how many reps, again, with the bands, doesn't matter how many reps you get, just burn out the muscle as much as possible. So I'll do the dumbbell hammer curls first. So I stand like this, just curling hammer, up and down, both arms together. here feet a bit wider makes it a little bit harder and what you're gonna do if you go like that just burn out the muscles the biceps as much as I can just even if it's small movements that's fine burning the biceps that to failure and that guys is my back and bicep workout complete so as I showed you all those different exercises if you've got bands or like, like quite like dumbbells, you can do any of those exercises. Um, well, yeah, hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please put a comment in the comment section below. Uh, like it as well. And if you haven't done also, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next home workout.